Can I get a cold start for the boys, please? Why are your headlights coming on now? Yesterday they weren't when I was driving it. Weird. Something's iffy. Are you driving or you want me to drive? What is going on my beautiful friends? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. Starting today off, Bobby and I are going on a date. Believe it or not, this is Bobby and I's sixth year anniversary. We have been dating for six years. That is absolutely wild. So we're gonna grab a cup of coffee to celebrate. We would go get breakfast, but we we're both dieting and we're both very, very strict with what we eat right now. We don't need out at all right now. So that's why we're just gonna get a cup of coffee to celebrate. I must say Bobby's looking baller out here with her two cars all finished up. Comment below, Evo or STI. As of right now, I'm gonna say the STI looks better, but that's only temporary because I know here shortly, this thing's gonna look better than Gary. I do love Gary though. Bobby hinted at selling her Soupy the other day after she drove the Eva for the first time. Guess we'll see what she ends up doing. I love both cars. I think she'll keep both for a, for a long time. Hello. Hi. What's up? Not too much. We're matching. Oh yeah, we are. All right, I have one question for you that the boys want to know. Which car are you going to sell? Probably the STI. <sighs> Spicy. Spicy unit. I don't know though. You make it keep both, right? Yeah, I know. I just got to make room for the third one. Spicy unit. All right, we made it to the shop. Today is a all interior type of day for Bobby's 10. We're going to start out with a new radio. We have a radio and the bezel here in this box. Let me show you guys the current setup. We are not the biggest fan of it. The radio or, I don't know, I guess the gauge setup isn't terrible, but we have a better idea for that. So, of course, if we're gonna swap out the radio, we can no longer use this bezel. So yeah, let's go ahead and open it up and it's gonna look familiar to you guys because we've been ten, we've tended to run this radio in a lot of cars recently and it's been amazing. So here is another I doing head unit. This is the fourth one I think we've ran. Head unit, all the wiring, some more wiring with the CAN bus for a Rockford system. As far as I know, to use it in the non-Rockford system, all we have to do is just unplug that, this little CAN bus box right here and not run it. And then we have the bezel itself. Let's go ahead and screw this together so it don't fly out of the dash like it does on the hatch. The only wiring you need, you absolutely need, is this here. All of this is just accessories. Wi-Fi, an antenna that you don't really need. You do need this though. All right, so here is the bezel out of the car. We need that vent. Previous owner was kind enough to give us both vents. And then of course we need this hazard switch.
Here she is all complete. Screen, both vents are in, hazard switch is in, the harness that we need is in. Let's go ahead and make sure it works. If it does not work, we could try to plug this in. Um, but yeah, we will figure this thing out eventually. Should be a pretty easy fit. Head unit is in and it works absolutely wonderful. Of course, now all the wiring for the gauges. I need to just pull out of there so we can get the, the head unit in the car and then let me show you guys the car play. So I'm gonna pull it back out, get all the gauge wiring out of there because we're relocating all the gauges to a better spot. And then, yeah, I'll run through the radio with you guys. All right, we're just gonna have to go ahead and do all the gauges now which is not a big deal. So let me, get, let me give you guys an idea of exactly how this is going to be set up because it is identical to my 10. So we're gonna have oil pressure right here, boost and wideband. We're, we have the same Ortiz cluster and the same vent pod for over here for her car as well. That car does have a flex fuel kit, but there's no gauge, so we don't need to set that up at all. But yeah, that is exactly how it's gonna be set up, which is a very nice clean setup. Here is that cluster pod. I don't have very good luck with these. They always crack out, like this one's cracking as you guys see right by my thumb. They always start to crack out and get a little a little messed up over time. So I wish they made them higher quality, but as far as I know, it's the only one like this that there is. So the setup is pretty much finished up. Ah, Bobby, take a seat and let me know what you think of your gauge setup slash radio. Holy cow. Better? That radio is just staring me in the face. You like it? I love it. I've never, even when I had Rose, I literally kept the old radio in there. Yes. So this is high tech. Let's turn on your car. Show you how to use the CarPlay. So you're going to hit that. Wait, can I do it? Sure. Now guess. To do Apple? It's CarPlay. Oh, I mean CarPlay. Grab your phone and hit that. And then she'll connect and you'll be done. No way. Yep. It's pretty fast, huh? Wow, yeah. Like, no lag. All right, so everything I just installed, the radio, I'll throw all the gauges down below. I'll throw that vent pod down below and then like that cluster pod that I installed. They're a little shitty, but I'll link it down below as well. You know one thing I really want to start doing with all these aftermarket head units is doing a backup camera as well. Would They're be, pretty handy. That would be handy. All the other shit I don't need. Backup cameras are nice. All right, so the interior is all back together minus the shifter surround and there's a reason for that, but here's how it looks. So we got oil pressure, boost, wideband. I do want to grab a black. Jesus, I do want to grab a black bezel for the boost gauge. I don't have one here. All the other ones I did have black bezels for. And then there is the beautiful eye doing head unit. All right, next up, let's go ahead and get our shifter swapped out. I have a TWM shifter cage here at the shop that we're gonna go ahead and install in this car. It's got a factory shifter on it now with, it looks like a short shifter. I don't know what brand this thing is, but we got a whole cage here, so that's gonna be much, much better and I'm excited for that.
can slam gears with this. Ooh. Spicy unit. Very spicy unit. Do you like spicy units? 